Welcome back, Seattle Super Readers. I'm Superintendent Denise Juno, and I'm here to share my December Book of the Month with you. I hope you enjoyed last month's book, Fry Bread. I heard a lot of you took time to finish reading the book on your own. Great job. Whether it was through your school library or through the Seattle Public Library, I'm proud of you for taking the time to practice your reading skills. This month, I'm excited to share a book with you called The Big Umbrella by Amy June Bates. It's about how there's always room for everyone under the big umbrella. It's about kindness and inclusion and how the umbrella likes to help keep everyone dry, no matter who they are or where they come from. I also love the watercolor artwork on each page. It's the perfect book to cozy up with while drinking a cup of hot chocolate. It also makes me think about living here in Seattle. During the winter months, like right now, we get a lot of rain. Whenever I'm walking around in the city or sitting on the train, I see people carrying umbrellas of every shape, size, and color. It always makes me extra happy to see people sharing an umbrella together. Who have you shared an umbrella with lately? I'm excited to see all the characters in this book come together under the big umbrella. How about you? Let's get reading, Seattle Super Readers. The Big Umbrella by Amy June Bates. The Big Umbrella. By the front door, how many of you keep umbrellas by the front door? And I know that I keep a couple in the closet and one in my car. There's little umbrellas everywhere just in case we get caught in the rain. But a lot of people keep an umbrella by the front door before they head outside. Um, by the front door, there is an umbrella. And so you can see the character is decked out in a rain jacket and rain boots, grabbing the umbrella, ready for the outside and getting outside and playing and taking a walk around uh, the neighborhood. It is big. I don't know about you, but I have all sizes of umbrella. And today I brought one in to show you. It's gigantic. And it has a flower underneath. And I just really like to have this. It's pretty. And so it makes me feel really good as I'm walking around in the rain. Um, there can be small umbrellas, big umbrellas, umbrellas with patterns, black umbrellas. Uh, just uh, So what color umbrellas are in your house or in your car in waiting? And what kind of umbrellas do you have as you carry around in the rain? So it's fun to see other people's umbrellas and kinds of the things that they like to uh, showcase. Um, so I like to use this umbrella when I'm walking in the rain because it makes me feel happy. So this umbrella is big. It is a big, friendly umbrella. See how the umbrella has a smile? And maybe some umbrellas can have different sorts of uh, emotions, or the people underneath have different emotions as they're carrying the umbrella in the rain. It likes to help. And you can see an umbrella is not just good for rain, but it can protect you from leaves falling. When the sun is too bright, it can protect you from the sun's rays. And, um, having to get a sunburn and so an umbrella serves many purposes and the umbrella is always happy to serve and likes to help. It likes to spread its arms wide and so you can see here the character ha is under the umbrella and really uh, being protected as uh, they're splashing through the puddles and taking a walk and so the umbrella is being super helpful. The umbrella, it loves to give shelter. And so it is, you know, when you think of shelter, you think of maybe a house or a building, but an umbrella being over someone's head during the rain also provides shelter. And now you can see it can provide not just one person shelter, but it can also help um, your friend and get, give your friend shelter as well. And it's always nice to share um, when you have an umbrella to, to bring somebody underneath so they also are protected from the rain and from being wet. It loves to gather people in. And so because this umbrella is so big, um, they can bring all kinds of people underneath the umbrella. And so it is somewhere that people can feel safe, they can feel together, you can bring all kinds of your friends together in it. Um, so who would you bring into your umbrella? Super readers, I have another reading mission for you. I want you to finish the book on your own to see how it ends. You can find this book and other winter weather books that we'll be sharing with you in a moment 
at your school library, local library, or online through Seattle Public Library's library link, which can be accessed using your student ID. Until next time, I hope you all have a safe and happy winter break. Try to take some time to relax and have some fun. I can't wait to hear about all the wonderful books you explore. Keep on reading, super readers. If you enjoyed The Big Umbrella, check out these other great winter weather books. Your school librarian can help you find these books at your school library or at curbside pickup. For elementary readers, Outside by Deidre Gill. Waiting for Snow by Marsha Diane Arnold. Best in Snow by April Sayer. Bunny Slopes by Claudia Ruda. Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner. And for more advanced readers, Wintersmith by Terry Pratchett. Shiver by Maggie Stiefader. The Sea in Winter by Christine Day. The Barren Grounds by David A. Robinson. Seattle Public School students can access the entire Seattle Public Library book catalog online. Visit spl.org forward slash library link to learn more.